Chef Chris Sherrill, and I'm here from Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, Alabama. So, uh, my training as a chef, I was uh, born and raised in a little town, uh, Ufala, Alabama, and I knew at a young age I wanted to be a chef. Cabo Verde pops up in the United States language uh, certain ways, mostly due to the beginnings of hurricanes. But outside of that, you don't really know much about it. Uh, for me, when I got the call to come here, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know anything about it. I had to look on a map. It's a great entry level into African culture. The, the people here open their homes, open their hearts. They're, they're very friendly, very happy to have you here. Uh, our first day, I met uh, the chef from Portugal, Patricia, and the two chefs from China, and we had, uh, as well as the chefs from Cape Verde, and we were at the uh, palace in Mandelo, and we prepared uh, kavala or dishes that were so, the use kavala is incredible. Uh, we served about 40 people in a long family style banquet table. It was really cool uh, to 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 do that, and then to work and meet the other chefs. Our big goal was to judge the uh, kavala fresh festival. And we, um, we tasted almost 20 different dishes from local restaurants that were fantastic. But the chefs did a great job. Uh, we tasted some really great dishes and uh, uh, overall one that just blew our minds and, and that was fantastic. But the festival itself was amazing. It went from somewhere around noon till 2 or 3 in the morning. People having fun, people sharing music and enjoying life and, and eating food. And, and that's what life should be about. It should be that way all over the world. I had some great experiences. I uh, got to enjoy time today at the uh, local uh, hotel, school, uh, worked with a culinary class and we, we prepared four courses for a lot of people. It was fantastic. I enjoyed the day. We prepped a lot of food, used a lot of local ingredients, um, which is important because I think about the farmers. The farmers here take a piece of land out of volcanic rock and they grow this fantastic produce and the, and the human effort to produce these things is unimaginable to most Americans back home. This experience has been eye-opening, very humbling, um, very awesome to the point that without a doubt I will come back here if not just once but several times.